I'm Malachi Corley. I'm a wide receiver, and I go to Western Kentucky University. Got you. So big time wide receiver group here. I know you're a part of that. So take me through how you felt like you stood out and what you've done to stand out here. Uh, ultimately, I was labeled as a gadget player and a yards after catch guy my entire career. Uh, been labeled with that running back tag just because of the way that I'm built and the way that I play the game. Uh, but, you know, I think I've separated myself a little bit, well, a lot, uh, being able to show that I can, you know, run every single route in the tree and been able to go against some of the best defenders in the country and still win on plays, uh, win plenty of routes against those type of guys. So I think I've been doing a really good job down here, and I think people have been really starting to take notice of it. So I see you've got the chains on. Take me through. What's the meaning behind your chains? Uh, KTB is just cutthroat business, uh, but we do it with a K. But uh, our receiver coach uh, back at Western Kentucky, our slot room, uh, it's only about four deep in our slot room, so it was kind of like a little mob between us all. Uh, he made the decision to get these chains for us because that's the name of our group. Uh, you know, smaller guys on the field, but, you know, we're real cutthroat and real grimy and real uh, aggressive people, so that's why we got these chains. And then underneath it just says MC11. Uh, the 11s are on the outside of it, so it's a nice chain that got put together for me. Um, you know, I'm really thankful for anything I can get, but these are really nice and special to me. Gotcha. So when you go through, in terms of the combine times, running, I know people always ask for skill guys, what are you going to run? So for you, what do you expect to do? What have you been getting in your training? Uh, I'm going to run a 4-3, uh, which at 215 15 pounds is going to change a lot for me. You know, it's going to change a lot of narratives around me. It's going to change a lot of people's mock drafts and stuff like that. Um, been consistently running 146s and 1-4-5-10s, so you know it's only about two weeks of preparation that way, even just now getting comfortable holding my stance. Um, really been focused on getting out in the first three or four steps. Uh, been working on the shuttle. I'll definitely go sub four in the, in the shuttle, uh, which you know that's gonna all these things are really gonna separate me as far and you know I don't even have to talk about the bench press. Um, I'm gonna go easily at 25 reps or more. Uh, so you know maybe I'll even set up a new a new standard at that uh, bench press. So uh, you know I'm getting prepared for the combine. But even if I had to run it right now, I don't have any doubts that I'd run well. So to do what you've done, I know the mental game is such an important part. Who are some people that influence you or inspire you? Uh, in my family, I have my mom and my brother. And my brother's Louisville Metro. He's a police officer and. Uh, He's been my manager throughout this entire process, dealing with all the agents. I didn't meet any agent until I actually met him in person. He did handle that entire process uh, through and through. Uh, he's a great human being, and, and he's only three years older than me. We played high school football together for one year. He's a senior and I was a freshman. Um, really setting a standard of hard work and um, you know, teaching me to live my life in the right way. So uh, having a brother like that is something that everyone can't say that they have. And even when I get drafted, he's going to make the initial move with me. Uh, he's been great at uh, keeping me on the straight and arrow. Uh, and he's not the type of brother to enable you until you're doing everything right. He'll tell you when you're messing up and stuff like that. So having someone in my life that is uh, that close to me, but you know, has this place in my, in my life and in my heart is unbelievable. Well, thank you for your time and good luck. Thank you. I appreciate you.